Right, so when you fill in the swing, you see in the swing planes, you've got planes in your swing, and yep. some planes are flat, some planes are upright, but you've got a swing plane. Yep. Um, and then you've got a direction to your swing. Some guys want to align up the left a little bit, some guys want to align down the right a little bit, some yep. guys want to align perfectly square. And then you've got an angle of attack, you can hit down or you can hit up. So if you want a baseline for hitting the draw, we want an inline swing with a downward angle of attack. Now as your angle of attack goes down on an inline swing, the path of the club goes out to the left. Yes. So you're hitting out at it because yeah. you're hitting down. Now you could have a swing where the angle of attack's really level and the path is created by having a swing direction out to the left. Not as consistent because your angle of attack is too level, so you might start hitting the ground behind the ball, yes. thinning it, etc. So, when you were saying what a good baseline would be or what a preference would be, in line, in down slide. So, you're setting it off left to yeah. left a little bit. And then, what you do with your club face relative to that path, then. So, if, you, if the club face is square to the path, you're going to push it a little bit to the left. If the club face is slightly shut to the path, yep. but still open to your target, you're going to draw it back, and then if your face gets square to your target, over draw, close to your target, hook, yeah, mm -hmm. but that would be your preference, or, or my preference if you will, um, it doesn't mean that it has to be exactly like that, but it's a good starting point, Got it. yeah, yeah, and it